Hi, have you ever thought about buying a safe or do you own a safe? Well, this isn't an advert for safes. Don't worry, it's one of my where there's a will, there's a way posts. <clears throat> but I wanted to buy a safe and I had no idea as a blind person how complex this process would be. So I just walked into the safe shop and said, what have you got? And the first few safes the guy showed me had completely flat screens where you entered in the numbers. There were no buttons, there were no dots, there was nothing. Like those nasty Albert terminals that they have now <clears throat> for FPOS in some stores. Um, and, oh, like a flat screen like an iPhone. It was just a completely flat screen, but unlike my iPhone, and I'll talk about that in another video, um, it didn't, these safes didn't talk. So there was no way I could tell what buttons I was pressing. Then you had your other, other saves with safes with these combination locks, <clears throat> kind of a bit like suitcase locks. You turned these little dials and um, again, I couldn't tell where the numbers were because there were no marks on the, on the dial and there was no beginning and end. You just kept turning and turning and just kept going round and round and round. And then there were the ones which fascinated me most of all, which were the ones with the big wheels on them, you know, so many turns to the left and so many turns to the right. But then I thought, oh, you know, you have to stop at each a different place on each turn. So it was quite, um, quite a job finding one that I could actually open and close. But then eventually I did. And these had a keypad with numbers on them, but they were, they were raised um, buttons. So I was able to press on those and they would beep every time I pressed them. So I knew I'd, I'd um, <clears throat> press the, the right button or press the button hard enough. And but the thing that did my head in a bit was I'm so used to the normal numeric keypad with, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And, you know, I just can put my middle finger on the five and I can just move my other fingers around. Sorry, I hope that's kind of making sense, me making weird hand gestures here. Um, <clears throat> so I can tell where, the, where I am on the, the regular numeric style keypad and the five normally has a dot on it. But the safe I ended up buying, or none of the safes I looked at had, had numeric keypads. What they had was they had one, two, three, four on the top row, five, six, seven, eight on the bottom row, nine on the next row, nine, zero, star and hash on the bottom row. So that kind of does my head in every time I have to sit there and go, oh, no, it's not one, two, three. So, um, but I eventually did get a safe. But the whole point of this of this uh, video was to say that something which would be a quite a simple process for a sighted person, let's just go in and buy a safe, let's just pick one, that one will do, is not necessarily as simple as it could be for a blind person. Okay, uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this post.